Assalamu alaikum friends. Hi there and welcome back to my kitchen. I hope and pray you all are well. In today's video, I thought I'd share like a vlog type like I used to before since so many of you guys always request me to do so. And this was the Thanksgiving holiday that we get here in the U.S. where everybody is off of work, the kids, the adults, everybody's off. So you just get together and make a nice warm meal kind of traditionally that we've always been doing. So what I did the night before here, I'm going to share with you guys is I got all my chicken. I washed them really, really good with lots of vinegar and cold water. So then after that, what you do is you brine the chicken and the turkey for extra juicy chicken, extra juicy uh, turkey. The turkey, two to three days, even 24 hours before, and the chicken a night before, a day before, even a few hours. After you brine it with the sugar, salt, and water, you rinse really, really good, making sure everything comes off and you pat them dry. Then you add them back to a dish and you get your masala that I make here in my blender and I'll have all the ingredients down below for you guys and you simply add this to it it's that easy you add everything to a blender blend up add to your chickens to your turkey and this will be the only masala and the yummy marinade that you will ever need for your chicken and your turkey so this is a real easy method and of course you as you guys can see i've added some desi spices and stuff into mine to give it that extra nice spicy juicy flavors and all and then you mix it on really really nice like this so I did this with my chickens after they were brined and like I said I dried them got this marinade all over them and I did the same thing with my turkey so you want to wash your turkey really 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 good then you want to make sure you take everything out wash from in and out with lots of vinegar lemon and all that and that's exactly what I did here about two days before and then after you marinate everything you cover with uh, cling wrap and you put in your refrigerator and you guys can put individual ones like this after I'm done with everything I like to put some onion and some garlic um, a little bit in the chicken and then throughout so I got all that marinated and this was I was doing this the night before with my chickens and then before we went ahead and went to bed I went ahead and set up the table for the next day since everyone was going to get together and I thought I didn't want to worry about it the next day so I was doing all of that And then the next morning what I did was since I had everything out of the way I started with all of the sides so I'm gonna go ahead and make some of the sides my sisters also helped out with some of the sides because they insisted on doing so this year so my sister made some mac and cheese with some stuffing the other one made some mashed potatoes with some masala corn that we like to do and as you guys can see here's the next morning remove the cling wrap added all the chicken for them to a large baking tray like this you want to make sure you get all the masala back on there and here's the star of the show the turkey as you guys can see i put in my turkey roasting pan and i had the same masala on there overnight and then um, what i did was add just some celery and some onions and garlic some carrots for um the gravy that turns out really good with those juices i also went ahead and prepped the garnishes that i'm going to use for this place that to the side and these are ready to go in the oven and now i am making my sides the chicken i put in a 400 degree preheated oven and i'm going to cook for about one hour then i'm going to remove the foil and let it broil for about 10 minutes these are some potatoes sweet potatoes i'm blanching my green beans for a green bean casserole and i'm also going to make some um, cranberry sauce this is the mixture for the potatoes just brown sugar butter and pecans and then i throw in the potatoes and for the green beans i did like an alfredo type of a casserole added my green beans to it and then i'm sauteing some mushrooms with uh, spices black pepper crushed red pepper and i'm gonna add that to it 
on the side, I got my trays out for the turkey, for the chicken, uh, got my little tea corner set up with tea and coffee, and here are the potatoes all done. As you guys can see, more pecans on top with some uh, raisins, and the mushrooms are all sauteed, so they go on top of the green bean casserole, and now I'm going to cover it with some fried onions. So that's ready for the oven really nice buttery and so delicious and now the cranberries you want to make sure you wash them really good now i know thanksgiving's over but we're still in the holiday season and the winter season and stuff and you know when we get together um in the holidays of course this stuff is so in season you want to make it so hopefully you guys can try some of these recipes homemade cranberry sauce is delicious add the cranberries add um, some sugar and then add some orange juice add a little bit of salt and then the berries will start like kind of pricking together and you want to make sure you don't you know they don't fly or kind of prick in your face you want to back up a little because they will start to pop like this and then that's about it they're all done I had some cranberries in the refrigerator, I mean in the can from um, from the cupboard, so I cut that up and then our cranberry here was all done. You don't want to thicken it out too much, you want to leave it a little runny because then it will hold its shape and thick out like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my serving dish. Homemade cranberry sauce is so delicious. It's like a perfect combination of sweet and sour and tasty spicy flavors with the turkey, chicken, and all the sides. And then the rolls, of course, the Hawaiian rolls are the best. They're so good, I'm sure a lot of you guys know. And if not, guys, try these. They're delicious. We like to butter them from the top and then place in the oven at the time of serving. And now I have my platters ready here for the turkey for the chicken my garnish don't forget to follow me on instagram guys now my sister was here so she went ahead and bring like i said some stuff she bring the stuffing and a yummy dessert so delicious and so good it's a tres leches pineapple and then the macaroni and cheese and of course costco pie pumpkin pie is the best Costco pumpkin pie is the best, so that's a traditional family favorite that we would have at my aunt's always, and it brings back so much memories. So guys, the turkey's all done. Now, the thing with my family or my sisters or my nieces and nephews, we love to have our, tur our turkey, our chicken, all that good stuff kind of really, really cooked, you know? So that's why I really wanted it broiled and cooked and all that so it's all done I just garnished it up our chicken is done and then from the stock that's left over you guys can make gravy and that's so good all you do is add a few tablespoons of flour and you add your broth that's left over from the turkey and it makes homemade um, gravy so our spread was all done and our Thanksgiving lunch slash dinner was all done. It's just a day that everybody is off and kind of like a tradition since everybody's off and everything's closed and you're just in the house with family. You want to make warm, comforting food and enjoy. So yeah, this time I thought instead of, you know, focusing a lot on my Instagram and social media and all that, I'll share here on YouTube like I used to. And please let me know if you guys do enjoy this recipe and this video today. And inshallah, I'll share more. And also, um, let me know if you guys enjoy the recipes. And hopefully, you guys could use the recipes throughout, you know, the winter or the holidays. And it's a piece of cake. And trust me, once you guys try it, you guys will love this method. So my sweet friends, take good care. I hope and pray you guys enjoyed this video. Until my next video, take care and a laugh is.